All right, guys, so DJI came out with the DJI Osmo Action 2, and it has come out, and influencers are all talking about it. They're doing videos. They released a ton of videos yesterday, and I'm just going to talk about from a fishing YouTuber perspective whether or not I'm going to recommend this camera, and I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, spoiler alert, no, I'm not. Fancy. Got a lot of bells and whistles, a lot of cool features, but I just don't think it's for a YouTube fisherman, and I'm gonna tell you why. So if this is your first time here, my name is Ryan, I'm host here on Rhino Joe Outdoors. Um, I traditionally, in the past, have been done a lot, I've done a lot of kayak fishing content. Recently bought this old Triton here, and uh, been making my rounds on it, getting used to it, but I wanna be filming videos out on this boat still have my kayak it's actually for sale if you want to check it out it's a native slayer max 12.5 and it is for sale still got another kayak for fishing the streams and creeks that uh, perception outlaw that i really like for fishing streams probably smaller ponds too but this is going to be majority of what i'm probably fishing out of coming up here in the future but in order to film my adventures, I really like these DJI Osmo Action 1s and I've done a video on it. I've got a chesty rig here that I've got all set up with a USB power pack and external audio lav mic with the fuzzy thing so it reduces wind noise. And I love these cameras and the reason why, I'll tell you the number one reason is reliability and number two would probably just be simplicity they're super simple i've got this thing set up i just like take it with me wherever i go you know what if i want to talk to the camera i can literally just sit it right here on this chair and talk to you guys it's super easy to use it sounds good it looks decent it's not the best looking you know film but it's an action camera it's not supposed to. It's supposed to be for action-y things. And that's why that brings me to the most action-y part of these cameras is the fact that they're reliable and they don't crap out in the heat. They work well in the cold, especially if you have them up to a external power source. So these are great little camera if you're out fishing, doing that kind of stuff. And as you can tell, I got three of them. So I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna mount them in this boat. Um, I've got a mount right here that I used on my last video. I'll throw up a shot from that video right here. Oh my gosh, look at this crappie. Look at this crappie. Look at this crappie. <laughs> oh my gosh. And as you can see, sounds good, works well, video looks decent. And really, I mean, my main thing is I want my video to look good and be able to talk to you guys and bring you right there in this boat with me, right there, and come along on my fishing adventures. But they're weed eating and mowing my lawn, so sorry about the noise. If you're looking for good lawn care, check out Mike Rice Lawn Care if you're in and around the Louisville area. Mike Rice does a great job very reliable check them out the DJI Osmo Action 2 has a lot of neat little features it's got like the standalone thing that's waterproof that you can use like that pendant mount with um, it's got like a external battery adapter thing but once you attach that it's no longer waterproof um, it's got built-in storage which I really don't like um, 32 gigs of built-in storage you have to have the external thing attached to it to put an SD card with it it's expensive it's like I think $499 for the one with the external battery and then it's like 500 and some dollars for the one with the screen module so you can actually see yourself and you can turn it around like just I don't know just like a lot of gimmicky type crap in my mind a lot of gimmicky type crap on that to make it like the Insta One R. I mean, I guess, but I just don't really like it. I'm just not a big fan. I don't think it's going to be reliable. They, the in the several reviews that I've seen on YouTube, a bunch of people have complained about it overheating, and that was my number one complaint coming from the GoPro to switch to that camera was the fact that these little guys i've never had a problem with them overheating one of my main problems with the gopro cameras was the fact that they were overheating 
and I don't want to worry about that. I, and also cold weather performance. The GoPros in the cold, like the, the batteries just sucked. I didn't like the way that the external audio interface works on the newer GoPro cameras. So probably just not a good option. I'm probably just going to stick with these. I would prefer something on my Chessie rig that had a little bit of a wider viewing angle. But for now, I'm just going to have to do with these guys and they've worked really well for me. So I'm just gonna stick with them. Great try DJI, gave the old college try, trying to think outside the box, but I really wish that what they would have done is packed some of those video features into this body. Cause I think this body, there's nothing wrong with this body. Body yaddy 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 yaddy. I don't know, every time I say body, I think of that stupid song. Um, body, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I digress. But I think this is a good little camera body. It's a nice size, and I really think that they were just trying to make it small and like a lot of really neat features. But I really wish they would have just worked with this body style and just packed some better processors, some better like you know video capabilities into this body. I think they would have been fine with that. But great try. High five, DJI. Get the old college try. But I'm gonna be sticking with these. And if you're interested in those videos where I discuss my chesty rig and my other rig, I'm gonna have those linked right here. And uh, go check those out. And as always guys, get outside, do something awesome. Take somebody with you. And I will see you guys in my next video.